Hi once again everyone, it is Eric Wilhelm here with a fresh edition of Weather for Weather Geeks, the Valley's most in-depth weather video. We're going to keep this one pretty short tonight because, honestly, there's not a lot to talk about. And these videos might be pretty short for a good week or so, uh, because uh, other than some rain coming our way here and there tomorrow and then especially into Friday, weather looks awfully quiet as we transition into the month of August next week. It's another nice evening to check out the International Space Station uh, this evening. 8.57 p.m. is when this will start to appear in the southwest sky, disappearing five minutes later in the east-northeast sky. And check out my social media for a reminder of that about 10 minutes or so beforehand this evening. So another chance to do some real-time science and check out something that's flying in outer space, barely in outer space, just barely above our atmosphere. But uh, human beings uh, continue to do great science up on the International Space Station. It's always cool when we get an opportunity to watch it zip overhead. Just a reminder, the space station doesn't blink. If you're looking up and seeing something going by that's blinking, it's probably an airplane. Uh, the space station does not blink. All right, we're 26 days into the month of July. And uh, take my word for it, I won't make you count them, but uh, we, are, we have split the month half and half, half of the days 13 days have been cooler than average and 13 days have been warmer than average now the warmer than average days even though they haven't outnumbered the cooler than average days they've been more above average than the cool days have been below average so therefore 1.2 degrees above average is where we stand temperature wise so far in the month of july with a handful of days yet to go all right high res visible satellite this evening uh, kind of zoomed out since we just have some high mid and mid-level clouds around this evening should not be enough to block the space station view uh, for you this evening so it's a cool evening to check out what's going on elsewhere thunderstorms blowing up here across the front range of the rockies into parts of the plain states this evening interesting little cumulus uh, field forming uh, upstream or downstream i should say of the of the flow off the gulf of mexico and just all sorts of cool little features you can pick out on these high res go 16 uh, satellite pictures will uh, continue showing these as long as there's something interesting to show and most days there will be all right no real severe weather threats in most of the country this evening uh, aside from parts of the high plains and front range of the rockies uh, this is our next weather maker here it's an area of low pressure that's spinning across the midwest this is what's going to dive southeast and spread some scattered moisture into the region for tomorrow. That's also where the soupy air is. Check out the dew points this evening, rising up into the mid-70s as, as far north as St. Louis, up to Dubuque and Chicago. It's very muggy this evening. Our dew points aren't bad for July, a little higher than yesterday at this time, but still we're in the lower 60s for dew points, and that's still you know, a relative bargain for this time of the year. All right, during the day tomorrow, I, you know, I just don't think it's going to rain much in most of the region tomorrow, especially if you live north and east of Youngstown. Somewhat higher chances of wet weather the farther south you are, but anything that's out there will be real hit or miss. Afternoon and evening, just widely scattered stuff. Chance in any one spot probably about 30% of seeing measurable precipitation for tomorrow. Might see a couple of showers into tomorrow night. Friday continues to trend a little wetter, cloudier. Uh, don't think we see much sunshine on Friday, and, and I, while I don't think it's any sort of washout, there's probably some showers here and there, maybe a rumble of thunder mixed in as well. I think temperatures stay in the... Uh, in the 70s on Friday, but the weekend still looks fantastic. Uh, with high pressure building in for the weekend, this looks just great. Uh, might start with some high clouds on Saturday morning, especially east of Youngstown, but then the afternoon should be just scintillating, and Sunday looks like a real winter as well. A little bit warmer on Sunday. Now, once we're done with any rain by Thursday and Friday, we're probably done for a while. I don't think it rains much at all next week until maybe the very end of the week. So this will probably be the last rain we see for a time. Our computer modeling here still has a pretty good spread. Most of it occurring on Friday into Friday night. A uh, couple of the models here. Uh, let me clear out my telestration if it will let me. Uh, maybe it won't let me. Well, anyway, our telestration or our, uh, our models here show uh, the GFS and the European are kind of between a half an inch and an inch. Some of the, some of the more short range modeling, such as the NAM and the RPM, are down under a half an inch. So I think right now a reasonable estimate would be an average of a half an inch to maybe an inch worth of rain. An inch might be really on the high side of things. Uh, it depends on what happens late Friday and Friday night. There's a chance we get into a pretty good plume of moisture late Friday, Friday night. That would drive up rainfall amounts, but uh, kind of uncertain on that at this point. So stay tuned on that. We could see just a little bit of rain or some places might have a pretty good dose of rain just before the weekend starts. Look at the dew points. I, this looks so good I could lick it. 
<laughs> dew points by the weekend, lower 50s in the afternoon in late July. That's fantastic. And I think most of next week, while it will be warm, doesn't look all that humid. I think air temperatures can get into the mid-80s again by Tuesday and Wednesday, but we're not going to see sky-high dew points. Probably no better, no higher than the, uh, the mid-50s as we go towards the middle of next week. So next week looks like a really nice week overall. Thanks for watching this abbreviated edi edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. I'll see you tonight on 21 News at 11 o'clock, and I'll have another edition of this, what should be another pretty short video, uh, tomorrow evening, same time, same place.